Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Now, I swapped my deck around a little bit in order to put in Tornado, um, and also to try out a few cards that I've, n I've mainly never really used uh, before in this game. I think that could be kind of fun. Anyway, we got a card uh, from a world apparently on the other side of our heart, Twilight Town. Now, here's something kind of interesting. We have never been to Twilight Town before. We did not go here in the first Kingdom Hearts, meaning that this is, like, probably the only original world in the game. Very interesting, though. Gosh, where are we, Sora? Hmm. I don't know, I've never been here before. Me neither. But that can't be right. Up until now, we've only been to places that's in Sora's memories. Maybe so, but I definitely don't remember this. Maybe you forgot this town, just like the other stuff. This is terrible. Our memories are practically gone. We'll be okay. See? Look at this. Nominee's good luck charm. There's a special memory that goes with this. Yeah, this town does have a lot to do with Naminé. One night, when Naminé and I were alone, there was this meteor shower. Naminé started crying. She said, what if a shooting star hits the island? So I said, if a shooting star comes this way, I'll hit it right back into outer space. I was swinging this toy sword around the whole time. Naminé just smiled and said, thanks, and then she gave me this. Sora, I'm so sorry. All this because of me. Namine said she um she had it ever yeah Namine not yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. Namine said she had it ever since uh, she was a baby, and she gave it to you. Wow. Yeah, so I promised her. From now on, I'll bring you uh, I'll bring you good luck. I will keep you space safe. I really let her down. We get the key to beginnings. Now, for people who kept up with the series as it went along, this is the first world in the game that's actually very original. Or is actually original in the first place. We didn't go to Twilight Town in the first Kingdom Hearts. So, it's quite interesting. Like, what, what could possibly be the reason for a town like this? What does the other side mean? This is one thing I absolutely love about Kingdom Hearts. In the sense that it's ambiguous, yet it knows what it's doing. Like, people who play these games in order, Chain of Memories is the second game in the series. With that in mind, people are not going to know what Twilight Town is. Yet, if you play the other games in the series, you will find out. That, that kind of, that kind of, um, that kind of feeds into why I love uh, the, the series so much. Because, again, I, I love how continuity-filled these kinds of games can be. Oh, by the way, the Heartless here are very, very underwhelming. All you fight here are shadows, uh, soldiers, and air soldiers. Or not air soldiers, air pirates. Kind of boring, actually, but it, it's it's okay. Um, they have a ton more health, though, and I think they have more powered-up attacks. But yeah. Um, oh, man, they give you a lot of experience, too. I want to say this is one of the best grinding spots in the game, too, which is pretty cool. All right. For that, we get uh, Feeble Darkness. And dare I say, this is probably going to be the earliest time in the series I start cutting out battles, too. Oh, no, I can show these off. All right. So I, I wanted to show off these two cards, or these cards, because I've never actually used them before. All right, so what does Dumbo do? Oh, so it's the exact same thing as Aqua Splash. I'm assuming that hurts them. I can't really see, because i got to unlock... Oh, wow, he's hitting all of them. <laughs> all right, let's try Tinkerbell. Huh. She healed me. I wonder if that stays for a while. That's kind of neat. All right, then finally Bambi. I want to say I think I know. I know what this guy does. Oh, wait. Oh, I accidentally activated Italy Rom. What does this do? Oh. <laughs> he starts confusing them. That's kind of funny, actually. That's a lot of slowdown, though. All right. Uh, you, you can stop anytime you want. Okay, so what Bambi actually does is... um. Oh, that's perfect. 
Okay, thank you so much for casting that Thundara. Like, have the playing field right here. What Bambi actually does is um, he bounces around and starts dropping health orbs, which is kind of interesting. Also, in the original Kingdom Hearts, Tinkerbell had the ability to um, to heal you and then go away, but her like heals kept. Let me try it now, actually. No, I can use other cards as she's activating. Huh, okay, so I guess it's a little bit different than the first game. In that case, that's actually kind of bad. Because um, uh, one of the things I like about Cure so much in this game is that it's instant. Uh, and one of the reasons that made uh, Tinkerbell so good in the other game is uh, that um, you can actually use her and then in conjunction use some of your other uh, attacks as well. It doesn't look like you can do that in this game, which is kind of unfortunate. Like, I kind of wish it gave you a regen or something. Kind of like, uh, like the Oogie Boogie effect, but it, like stayed for like the, the next minute, even though you could, you could use other abilities per se. That's it. I, I put this guy in because I want to reload haste. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. I put the Black Fungus in because, again, I don't think I'm going to be getting um, every single... Ooh, Kitty Rewards, and we know what we're doing now. I don't think I'm going to be getting every single... Um, uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting every single enemy card or showing every single one off in, in this playthrough, but I think it'd be kind of cool just to show off as many as possible, and I think that card is going to make it very possible to do that. Uh, we got for one the one from Monster, right? Yeah, I believe we did, which means that next is Atlantica. Okay, thankfully we weren't too far into Twilight Town, so I'll go get to that door, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, we are back, and I am currently, um, right here on the map. Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's gonna need 30. That's a pretty easy one, actually. Um, let's see. What about these? I always like to get rid of these, because I don't really use them. So I can always go back if I gotta save. We have a lot of sixes, actually. Oh, there's a duplicate. Oh, here's a lot of them. So you have a separate two. Yeah, there we go. Eight, nine, eight, eight. I like lasting days, though. We'll use this. There we go. Okay, key to rewards. What does this give us? Quake. Interesting. I don't think I've ever used Quake either. Let's see if we can put that in. Oh, wait, wait guys, we gotta know what, what makes it first. That sounds like a magic. I think that is a magic from Final Fantasy. Where is it? Inflict damage to on all ground enemies with a violent tremor. Gravity Simba in any magic card. Man, the, ga the game just loves to use gravity for, um, for slights. Okay, so remove. We'll take out those three random summons. Alright, so gravity... Simba, and then any old magic card. We'll put it in this. Yeah, there we go. That could be fun. Nice. Okay. I will meet you guys back at Twilight Town. Alright, we're back. I've re oh, oh, okay, never mind. Actually, wait a second. Let's show this off. Whoa! That doesn't do too much damage, though. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> Alright, so just take out these barrel spiders. Actually, we have Tornado still. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's just do this. Man, I really like Tornado. Like, every time I play this game, I always find one new- wait. Oh, so that's how much damage it does. Okay, that's pretty useful to know, actually. Alright, there we go. Apparently it's just better against a bunch of smaller enemies as opposed to uh, one big large one. I mean, I want to try as many slights as possible. Like, this always happens in this game. I always find one really good but, uh, slight by the end of by the end of every single new game I try this. Set surrounding enemies' health to that of the target. That sounds interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. I want to see what these do. Um... Hold enemies in place. Enemies can still attack from their position. I'm not sure if I like that. Temporary confuse enemies so they attack less often. Uh, Paradise. Italy Romp. We've shown that off. Twinkle. Nah. No Twinkle. I think those are all require friend cards you don't have. Alright, well that's okay. Alright. Let's just keep doing this. 
Oh, oh no, that's not gonna hit him, is it? Oh, it did. Oh, it hit the ones that were like touching the ground. That's interesting. You know, we don't have the air pirate card yet. I could continuously try to kill those guys last and look for them. Oh, you know what I could do? I could also show this off. Um, how do I do it again? It's like, um, that, that, and then any magic spell, I think? Yes, Blazing Donald. This one is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> he just runs around because he just flubs a fire spell. Okay, that was not really a good use of that, but we, we I still showed it off, which is kind of cool. Oh man, there are a lot of these things here. Let's use our Black Fungus. What's this going to give us? Combo Plus. Alright, Soldier Card. Actually, that's quite useful. Two, three... Eh, whatever. Alright. Alright, there's you. He's like Thunder or something. Nope, that's useful too. Oh, he did use Thunder. Alright, good. Oh, new level up. That is awesome. Oh, he's great getting one of those. Oh, another kid rewards. Well, <laughs> you know, I love getting these out of the way quickly. Holy! Inflict damage to on a target on a targeted enemy and all surrounding enemies. We use it by using Mega Ether, Mega Elixir, and any item card. We don't have Mega Elixir yet. Well, uh, we just got another key to rewards. Man, I love knocking these out of the park so quickly. Next is Neverland. You know, we don't really have that many left. All right, so we'll go back to Neverland. And then I'll meet you guys at the Keto Rewards there. Alright, we're back. And I actually got the Barrel Spider card while I was coming down here. Anyway. Uh, okay, so 15 blue. We usually get way too many blue cards, so I don't think it's going to be that difficult. Oh, no, can't use a zero. Let's see. We have two sixes. I don't think we're gonna need a six of this anytime soon. We'll use our three as well. Okay, good. Get our rewards. Let's see what we get here. You know, I actually kind of forgot what we get in these worlds too, so it's kind of neat. It's 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 kind of like I'm playing the game blind, but sort of not really. Under raid. Oh, about time we get that. Nice. Well, back to Twilight Town. Oh! Oh, Spellbinder. Nice. Well, that's what it looks like at the very least. Alright, let's uh, get a move on. Oh, hit the door. There we go. One or higher. Okay, that's not going to be too tough. We have multiple ones. Let's use a Mughal Shop. We haven't seen one in a while. Alright. Oh, oh, good, good. Okay, more, more Mughal Orbs. That's good. I've got those orbs like five different things over the course of this playthrough. Anyway, here's a card pack. What do we got in here? Uh, that's middling. Ooh, um, six fairy harp is good. You know, I don't think I've shown this off yet. Got any old cards? Trade them in for points. So yeah, if we have any old cards we don't really like or use anymore, we can cash them in for, for, for a very minimal amount of points. Uh, for example, these one kingdom keys. I'm not going to use a one kingdom key. Yeah, let's sell a few of these. Let's give, let's give like three, because you never know. You keep a play set of them, if you know what I mean. Alright. Oh, oh, we also got the 500 ones, too. I think these are meant to be kind of like the cream of the crop, per just so to say. Let's go for a 400 first. Elixir. Um, Ether. Yeah, that's, that's terrible, actually. God, I never want to buy one of those again. <laughs> Alright. I think we have three Dumbos now, which is kind of cool. And, uh, oh man, we're too off from getting, uh... Yeah, we're, we're too off from getting, uh... From getting one of those 300 things. Yeah, let's go for this. What will this give us? Item, item... Ooh, eight, uh, Dumbo is good. Alright, nice. That is okay. Okay, now, I believe, um... By the way, don't ever waste your cards coming down here. I don't even think the Kid of Rewards is down here. Or the, uh, the Door to Rewards. I keep calling it that back accent. Anyway. Uh, two or higher. Actually, wait a second. We don't have, um, a Calm Bounty. I just realized that. I wonder if these cards will do the same thing. I don't think so. 
if so, if this is the case, then I might have to grind for a Calm Bounty uh, um, card uh, off screen. Because again, there is one in every world, and I want to collect each and every one I can. Maybe I should get into battles too. Yeah, okay, here we go. Martial Waking. Alright, that's not a Calm Bounty. Oh, enemy. Oh, another key of rewards. That's good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna run from this one. I had the idea to do something, actually. Um, I want to put in... Hey, do I even have enough cards for it? I do. Okay. I want to put in Thundaga, simply put. Because uh, Quake is not really that great from what I've uh, from what I've seen. Uh, that or I've just got it too late. Um, or we could... Yeah, let's just put these in instead. Thundaga hits the whole screen, I believe. Oh! Oh, you can get the combat to reward from these kinds of rooms. Okay, well, this is Faraga Break. I like what we do with Atlantica. Let's, uh, oh, wait a second. The Cage of Rewards is right here. You know, I could go out of order. If I can, you know what, tell you what. If I can get in this room, I'll do it. And we can get into the room. Man, this is convenient. So if I get another one, I can, I can then go back. Alright. This is going to require me to give up a lot of good cards. Let's see, eight. Man, we don't really have that many green cards. Oh, we got these down here. Use that duplicate. Use that. Seven. Eight. We have a few sixes. I yeah, will use that. Uh, we'll use this six. We need a two left. Four. Four. Yeah, we'll use the four. There we go. Okay. Get a rewards. Yeah, I've never gone out of order like this before. Well, the least we have this out of the way now. Look how this gives you, honestly. Warp. Oh! Oh, warp is a good one. It's pretty much like warp in air, but it hits all enemies instead, which is very convenient. You know, I should really grind for some enemies right now. Or for some for some map cards, because I am very desperately running out. Uh, that is not... That's kind of a waste, honestly. Oh, I should try to kill these guys last, too. That's a good hit. There we go. Man, that's a lot of damage. Try using uh, this now. There we go. I want to hit all the shadows. Maybe try to leave one air pirate alive. Because I really want to get their enemy card. So we'll hit you. Hopefully no more enemies will spawn. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Take you out. Oh. That will take you out. Nope. Okay, Sleeping Darkness. That's fine. That's fine. Let's get a move on. Um, a four. Oh, we have a ton of fours. Let's use that card we just got on us, actually. I try to take out all these random encounters while I'm here. Oh, and there's the um. Oh right. Okay, something other else unique about this world. There's only um, as you can see here on the map, there's only one uh plot door. Uh, there's um, yeah, there's nothing down here. There's nothing here. It's just this. So there's actually very little story of Twilight Town whatsoever. Let me take these guys out and then I'll uh I'll go I'll go do that. That was beautiful. Oh another calm bounty is a zero two at that. Mingling Worlds. I don't think I've shown that one off yet. What Mingling Worlds does is it pretty much just spawns a random room. And it, it can be any map card in map card. Yeah, it can be any map card in the game that it copies. Very self-explanatory, actually, when you wear it like that. Oh! Something else unique. Uh, we finally have our second health bar. I should have waited a little while. Because uh, I think in this formation, some sp some shadows spawn eventually. So yeah, that's pretty cool that we finally have our second health bar. I usually get it a lot earlier. I want to say I usually get it around Atlantica, because um, I usually try to go pretty one-for-one one when it comes to... Uh, uh, when it comes to uh, health and CP boosts, but um, again, I'm trying to be more unique in this playthrough, so I figured I'd, I'd go for like one of each. Let's use this actually. Oh, that was a waste of a first shot, but we can still hit them all. I uh, just gotta get a little bit lucky with that last one. That's still good damage. By the way, my attacks aren't getting worse, it's just that the enemies in this world have a lot more defense. Like honestly, if you were to go back to Traverse Town, these kinds of enemies would die in one shot. 
I shouldn't waste that. And yeah, just, uh, this'll do it. Probably. Good, it did. Another mingling world, so that's good. Alright, um... I kind of want to somewhat tailor my deck for this boss, too, because, um... Yeah, let's take all these out. Uh, Tornado is not going to do too much. This boss is weak to fire. And let's run in a third cure as well. And yeah, that could be useful. Uh, but yeah, have that one go first, so it's the first one to go away when I use a slight of it. What element is Spellbinder? Lightning. Ooh. Well, let's put in our Lion Hearts, because again, the boss is weak to fire. And uh, Faraga. Put in a bunch of Faragas. Oh, that goes way overboard. No, no I don't want to do that. Oh, come on now. Two over. Um, let me think. I want I want to use the most of what I can do. I also want to put in Trick Master for this fight too. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, so that's room for these things. Because order is very important. Everything. News, news, news. I messed it up again. All right, do that. All right, good. Let's take one of these out. That one. All right, good. I also really want to put in Trick Master. Because uh, this boss actually does use slights. To make him uh, very useful. And we're still going over. All right. You know what I should do, actually? I'm going to take out this 9 and put in, like, a 7 instead. Put in a 5. I still over... Man, this game gets picky sometimes. Either that or I just want too much. Both of which are very likely. Um, take that out. There we go. That, that's good. Alright. Nice. Okay. Now for the boss. We need a 5 or higher. Uh, pre use the premium room. A 5 or lower. Use the other premium room. A blue card. Um, oh, don't ask me to use blue cards right now. We're gonna use this, um, this two we got. Yeah, we'll use the two. Mingling Worlds is fun in a playthrough like this. And then a key to beginnings. What's the matter? I feel kind of funny. I'm sure I don't know this place, but it's starting to feel real familiar. And you must have been here before. That's just it. I never have. Maybe it's like when with Nomine. You forgot other stuff, so now you remember this place. No, it's different. With Nomine, the memories of us together sort of came, uh, came drifting back piece by piece. But here, there's no memories. Everything feels familiar, that's all. Does it now? A question then, Sora. Which is more real to you? Your memories of Nomine or from your familiar yeah, or the familiar the familiarity you feel here? Nomine, of course. Whatever I feel here is just some trick of yours. The memories wiles and, and the, yeah, the memories wiles and cruel. In its silence we forgot we forgot we forget. In its provision it binds our healthy firm firmly. I don't have time for your riddles. And recall that this place was made from another side of your memory. Yes, the other side of your heart knows, the, knows this place. The other side remembers. You're wrong. I don't know this place. If you remain bound uh, by, the, by the chain of memories and refuse to believe your heart, then you may as well throw your heart away. You're no Keyblade Master, no master or anything. Just a slave to twisted memories. Just like my Riku, you're not fit to exist. You're Riku? Wait, what? You're, you're so full of it. You're the one who, who changed uh, Riku, aren't you? Every word you've said is a lie. I've never thrown away my heart. I'm going to take you down and save Riku and Omni. That's, what, that's what in, what's in my heart. So we have a refight with Vexen. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Okay. Let me get up Trickmaster too. Now, oh, break that. Oh, no, he... It's early in the fight. I'm fine with that. Okay. What the heck? 
Oh, he has he has um item bracer. Uh, that makes it so I can't break his item cards. Okay, that's good to keep in mind. Let's try this. This will hit. There we go. That's a good chunk of damage right there. And I broke his other card, which is good. All right. Oh, okay. We have ice burn. That um oh man, that spawns some ice on the ground. This ice gets very annoying. What's this gonna do? Okay, that's ice burn again. I'm fine if he keeps spamming that because uh, they go away as soon as you uh, use them. They also melt away after a while, which is convenient. Oh man, yeah, you start slipping on them, it's very annoying. The second fight with Vexen is actually really difficult. I consider it's one of the harder fights in the game, honestly. It's gonna get broken. Oh, it didn't somehow. Alright, that's good. Oh, uh oh. That's, uh, okay, that's that one. Let's see if we can heal real quick. Or, get, come on, get up a heal. There we go, okay. What's this one? That's freeze. Wait, what? Oh no, that's the ice spike. Oh, okay, just just run in circles and you should be good with this one. Oh, and he's activated Auto Life, which I believe is his uh, his enemy card. Auto Life makes it so, um... Actually, I don't think I've ever seen him use it this early in the battle before. You'll see it when we, when, uh, when we kill him. Good. Oh, you can just run from that? I didn't know that. I thought you had to dodge roll. Probably gonna do it anyway, because, uh, let's see, Ice Burn. Just, just be careful. Uh-oh, um... Slipping is very annoying, but we can, uh, yeah, just, just, just go away from it. Yeah, it's, it's starting to melt. Okay, good. Nice. Our enemy break is almost gone. Let me try this. Uh-oh, that's a miss. Maybe not. Oh, that could that did good damage. All right, our fire break is almost up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, good. Uh, what's that one? The ice spikes. Okay. It's just run. And, oh, okay, hit me otherwise. It's a little bit finicky. It feels like. Uh, no. Oh, I want to break that. Okay, got all his cards back. What's this gonna do? That's the ice spikes again. Let me see if I can, um, I can't do this. There we go. That's good damage. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, he hit me with it. Okay, just struggle. Oh, that drains your life, too. I didn't realize that. That is really dangerous. Because you're frozen in place, and it starts to, de to uh, deal with gradual damage to you. Ooh, will you get off a goofy tornado? An eight, though. Um, that's going to be easy for him to break. We'll try it anyway. Am I immune to the, um, what's this one? Okay, that's fine. I really like that attack, by the way. I mean, I like the idea of it. It makes it so the, so the, yeah. It kind of puts hazards on the ground. It's not so much of an attack. Like, I find it really, I did it again. Um, I find it really creative. And I love creative attacks in games like this. Okay, that's a nine. Just let it pass. Come on. Okay. And his card values are kind of high. Just do that. There we go. Okay. Can I, um... Oh, no, I can't. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Get off at least one heal. Uh-oh. We might have to use Oogie Boogie soon. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Okay. I keep confusing them. I never look at what the actual slight does, which is the problem. Let's see. This one is Ice Burn. That's just going to spawn some ice. That's not too bad. I'm going to start doing that more, actually. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, just get off the ice. Alright, I think it's about time to start talking about auto life. So we're about to kill him. Watch what happens when we, uh, when we deplete his health to zero. Oh, any second now. He recovers half of a health bar. That's auto life. It's very simple, actually, but it's really cool. It pretty much just gives him, like, a, like a quarter of his health back. Actually, I think it is a quarter, and I think that is a, a, a that does skill of how much damage you start with, or how much a health you start with. Can we get this off? We did somehow. Interesting. Good. Okay, just get your health back. Any heal is a good heal. Um, that's ice burn. That's not too bad. Oh, they're all in the same place too, which is convenient. Come on, keep doing it. We're doing good. Uh oh, he's gonna. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We're so late into the battle, it doesn't, it doesn't even really matter, I feel. Oh, we almost got this. Oh, 
That's, um, that one. Okay. Let's see if I can take him, uh, out with this. I love taking the monsters out with this card. Or this slight. Oh, no, okay. Just brute force it at this point. There we go. Okay, good. I think I took him out with Lionheart, which is convenient. Because uh, he is weak to that. Oh, come on, grab the pearl. There we go. We get the Vexen card. I think that, that gives you auto life. So now we can use that skill. Uh, raise our health. Such strength, even at the mercy of your, of your memory. You are dangerous. You must be exterminated. Fine, whatever. Just put Riku back the way it was. Put him back. Fool of a boy. Even now you even now you understand nothing. The Riku you speak of has but one fate, to sink into the empty, emptiness of darkness. And you will share that fate, Sora, that fate, Sora. If you continue to seek the girl nominee, the, shack the shackles will tighten. You'll lose your heart and become Marluxia's pawn. Marluxia? Who's that? And what did they have to do with Nama... Ah! Axel! Hey, Sora. Sorry to cut in with, um... Right when I when the, when he was about to get to the juicy bits, Axel, why? You sure love to talk. It's about time you shut up forever. No, don't do it. We're nobody's vexen. We've got um, we've got no one to be, but we still are. So look on the bright side. You're off the hook. Now you can be nothing instead of just being nobody. Mercy, Axel. I don't want to go yet. Now you can tell me, um, uh, don't, I don't respect my elders. He kills Vexen. What the? What are you people? Wish I knew the answer to that myself. I really like this part of the game. Every Kingdom Hearts game has that one time, or that one part where you can kind of tell that things are getting really serious. And the fact that these, uh, this particular... Oh, by the way, I say how my save game works, but, um... The fact that these particular numbers are starting to turn on each other now is really, really, like... like that's neat. Like, that is... You, you can tell things are getting really serious now. Anyway, um, do I still want this deck? Let's see, we're not finding Axel or another fire guy next, so I think it'd be where we'd be, we'd be fine with this, uh, with this deck. Alright, let's keep heading forward. Nice work, Axel. Good rinse of that blabbermouth. Marluxia, you used Vexen to test Sora's strength, right? Not just Sora's. You too, Axel. We weren't sure if it ha if uh, you had it in you to take out a fellow member of the organization. Well, I guess you did. You can join the big leagues now. With the three of us taking over the organization, we, we, we're taking over the organization will be child's play. I see. And that's when where Sora comes in, right? Right. He wants to see Nomine, so we give him what he wants. Rejoice, Nomine. You're here you longed for. It's nearly here. I'm... I'm very happy. Are you now? Well, well, in the fits of a happiness, try not to do anything to hurt Sora's feelings. Am I clear? Yes. All you need to do is layer the memories one by one and bring his heart closer. Sora. Even if you come for me, what then? Enough, Sora. You'll just have to hurt Nominee if you go any farther. What? You still want to fight? Vexen's gone. You're free. Free? I'm protecting Nominee from you because it's, uh, it's what my heart tells me to do. I promised her. I promised Nominee I'd keep her safe. You did? There was this meteor shower one night when she, um, when she and I were little. Nominee got scared and said, What if a shooting star hits the island? So I told her, If a shooting star comes this way, I'll protect you. And then... You made a promise, and you had a toy sword. Yeah, how'd you know about that? But that was my promise. On the night of the meteor shower, I said I'd protect her. Liar. It was me, um, yeah, it was just me and her. 
Oh, yeah? Then how come she gave me her good luck charm? Her what? See? But where'd you get that? Oh, I know what you're trying to pull. Huh? That's a fake. I've got the real one right here. What? Two of them. I'll teach you to make stuff up. Alright. So we have a third fight with Riku. Let me actually use Trick Master this time. Because he is very useful in fights like this. Okay, so all of his values are going to have a plus one. Because he's using the Incremator right now. If you dodge roll that, I think I've talked about this before, but you can just dodge roll that and it isn't really a factor. Alright, let's just keep this up. Um, this fight is not really too dangerous. I actually find his second fight a bit more dangerous than the first one, honestly. I think he uses one more different type of slight now. I'll be able to get this off. Yes, I will. Good. Okay, Sonic Blade. If I can get this off, it's like a guaranteed health bar, which is great. Ooh, let's use my own Faraga. That one's not going to hit me. This one will hit you, though. Good. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have three friend cards ready. Let's just use this uh, while he's reloading. Uh, then use go with you. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Oh, actually hit him. Come on, use your sleigh. I know you want to. There we go. <laughs> Man, we're already halfway done here. Oh, we can get a Donald level 3 up. Can we? Yes, we can. Awesome. 11. I'm going to wait for him to use that slight, though, because he's already stocked up to 11. And it's, very, it's very likely he's going to break it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, no, no, no. Oh, I did it too late. Ah, uh, whatever. I would have loved to show off Donald level 3. I'm not sure if I showed that yet. What he does is he pretty much just does, um, uh-oh. He does two random level 3 spells in a row. Kind of like the ones he's been doing He's been doing up to this point. Oh, he's reloading. Perfect time to hit him. Oh, no, I'm, uh, now I gotta reload. Oh, ah, uh, wrong card. Okay, um, that over here. Do I have a 7 Keyblade? Yes, or Kingdom Key. Yes, I do. Let's see, that's an 8. Break it. Good. Nice, okay. He's got Dark Faraga up. Oh. Uh-oh. That's a stunning attack. Okay, I know it's early, but I'm going to use Oogie Boogie. We're kind of running low on health. We're not low on health, but I don't want to die to him. Let's see if we can get off a, a Fire Raid. Or a Fire Raid. Oh, this might be able to take him out, actually. Nope, he broke it. Um, That will. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too painful. I don't think he used his new card, actually. Or even if he had one in the first place. Mega Potion. Uh, go for CP again. Man, I'm going really hard on CP. Riku. This is Nominee's good luck charm, isn't it? It's just like the one she gave me. How to get here? Or how do you get this? It turned to a card. We get another world card. Riku's good luck charm turned to a card. So you and Riku have the same memory. Um I don't know how to think about that either. Aw, oh, somebody tell me what's going on here. Let's just keep going, okay? It doesn't matter anymore. Of course it matters. Don't you think it's weird that you and Riku have the same exact memory? You can't both be right. Oh, so I'm wrong, huh? Fine, don't believe me. That's not what Donald meant. What, 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 yeah, we're just worried. Now let's hurry up and ask Nominee. This should clear things up, right? Look, we don't have time to sit around. Let's just go. Sora, what's happening to you? What's that supposed to mean? You always get real touchy when it comes to Nominee. Did you even ask yourself why? Before we came to this castle, you didn't even know her, you know her name. Now she's all you think about. It doesn't make sense. Maybe you should stop and think things through. Think things through? You mean abandon her? Is that it? No, but... Whatever. Do what you want. Lay back. Take a nap. I don't care. 
I'm going to find Namine. Sora! You're always got left. If you don't stop this, no one will. But it's too late now. Well, I don't think it sh you should give up just yet. By the way, Nominee, I don't see Marluxia around, do you? What are you trying to say? There's no one here to stop you. Do it right. Hmm. Now this should be good. All the actors are in place. Now Sora, Nominee, Riku, Marluxia, Larxene. It's about time you gave me one hell of a show. Sora, you shouldn't talk to Donald and Goofy like... Give it to yourself. So we have the 12th floor now. I think I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.